A question entitled, How Human Are You? No, it's not a joke. This is a test designed to help humanity cope with a serious problem, one that is becoming more of a concern every day. On the phone, over the internet, and even in person, are you dealing with a human, or a computer, or a robot, or an alien? And are you really a human, or have you been replaced by a robot, or even by an alien without knowing it? Has your brain been tampered with by aliens, or maybe by secret government agencies, so that you are no longer as human as you used to be? Just how human are you? That is the question. So you're thinking, no sweat. You're as human as apple pie, right? But this is a difficult test, full of subtleties designed to ferret out the hidden truth. To separate the man from the toys, so to speak. The men from the toys, huh? Okay. If you're willing to put your humanness to the test, get ready to rumble. And if you don't have the stomach, assuming that is that you even have a stomach, to find out if you're not as human as you thought you were that chemicals in your food, invisible mind control devices, or alien abduction that you can't even remember has taken away some of your humanness. Just try sucking it up. And if you are not a human, beware. You will fail this test. Required response. Group code, if applicable. It starts out. Your initials, comma, first name, comma, or full name. This will appear on your report. Your age in Earth years, please. It goes from 10. It only starts at 10. Aww. And it stops at 95 or over. Quote, unquote. Your usual location on Earth. United States. Other. Your highest degree, your race or ethnicity, your gender, including other or unsure, your sexual orientation, including other or unsure, and are you employed or not? Are you fluent in English? How does that determine if you're human? <laughs> are you fluent in English? <laughs> How much contact do you typically have with people? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very little and 10 being a great deal. Same scale. In general, how much success have you had in your personal life? Oh, this can't be a very good test for humanness. Because the majority of humans are, including myself, are on the other side of that equation, I'm sure. In general, how happy and fulfilled are you? Again, same answer. Not applicable. How human do you consider yourself to be? With one being inhuman and ten being human. If you are a non-human life form, what species are you? If known, where were you assembled? Or where were you born? If you know... Where you were assembled, the answer here. If, you, if known, who designed you or programmed you? If known, what is your programming language <laughs> of your source code? <laughs> if known, under what operating system are you running? If known, on what hardware are you running? What? Okay, enough snooping. Here's the test itself. Oh, that wasn't even the test. That wasn't even the test. For each of the following questions, select what you believe is the best possible answer a human can give. In other words, pretend you're human? 
Okay. If you are truly human, that shouldn't be too hard. If you are less than human, <laughs> it says you're screwed. <laughs> it says if you're something other than human, you're screwed. Which of the following is not a bad habit? Nail biting, nose picking, butt scratching, toe tapping, pencil chewing. I would have to go with, oh, we could even select. I'd have to select toe tapping, I guess. Although that would annoy me if someone was tapping their toes. Pencil chewing? Which is the saddest of all the colors? Black, orange, yellow, red, or green? If a woman came out of a department store feeling very, very guilty, that probably means she had just gotten fired. She just had an argument with her boyfriend. She just had her purse stolen. She just probably stole something from the store. She's probably Catholic. Last answer. Bad joke. Bad, bad joke. When you've just started learning to ski, what part of your body is most likely to hit the ground a few times? Your ankles, your face, your forehead, your butt, your liver. It depends how bad a skiing accident it is. The liver is the worst accident. <laughs> Which of the followings most closely associated with that cold stuff that rhymes with nice dream? <laughs> Dice team, vice scheme, birthday cake, cold sore, cold shower. So the real answer isn't there. Most closely associated with ice cream, I guess, would be a birthday cake. Yay, I got one right. <laughs> if a man was a real snob about music, insisting that the kind of music he prefers is the only real music out there, he probably likes hip-hop, classical, reggae, banjo music, Broadway show tunes. <laughs> if all police officers wear blue uniforms, and the man walking toward you is wearing a blue uniform, then he is probably a police officer. He is probably a relative of a police officer. He is probably a member of the Blue Man Group. He is probably someone who recently fell into a large can of blue paint. I'm going to pick one of the previous answers, even though I know it's technically wrong, because I'm trying hard to sound like I'm human. And it's the answer most people would give, mainly because most people are really, really dumb. The one thing in life you can never have enough of is lubricant, money, sex, Memory space. <laughs> Spare parts. <laughs> That's there to sketch, catch the robots, I guess. Why did Mary throw the butter out the window? Because it was spoiled. To scare away a burglar. Because she was lactose intolerant. To see the butterfly. None of the above. How many glasses of beer would a quadriplegic have to drink? before he would have trouble climbing a flight of stairs. Question 11. Generally speaking, the thing most people want in life is to be happy, to have children, to get married, to buy a house, straight teeth. Number 12. Which of these lines is very likely not part of a poem written by a human? How long is this quiz? I have seen some of the experiments shown in this film actually carried out.